New numbers point to a slight improvement in Cleveland's poverty rate. Census data shows it's no longer the poorest large city in the U.S. But as News 5's Catherine Ross explains now, many in Cleveland are still struggling to make ends meet. It's a list Clevelanders would rather not top. It was a dubious distinction that we had there for a couple of years of being the worst in poverty of any large U.S. city. In recent years, Cleveland and Detroit have been battling it out for that distinction. This week, the latest census data shows Cleveland's poverty rate at 29.3 percent and Detroit's at just over 30 percent. Detroit was slightly worse than we were, so retook that top spot, if you can call it that. Emily Campbell at the Center for Community Solutions explains the figures are within the margin of error, so there's technically no statistical difference. But she says Cleveland's numbers do point to progress. There are a lot of amazing things happening in Cleveland that are trying to help children overcome their disadvantages, that are trying to move workers into better paying and higher quality jobs. The numbers still paint a picture of Cleveland as a high poverty city. So we have a lot of people in our community that are really struggling to make ends meet. At least 105,000 Clevelanders are living below the poverty level. And Cleveland plays dead last for child poverty in large cities, with close to half of children in the city growing up in poverty. It's an especially staggering fact when you consider the national average is 18 percent. Children are in poverty because of the amount of money that their families make and their parents earn. And so the fastest way to get us even further up on these lists is to help parents earn more so that they can support their families. Campbell believes local nonprofits are chipping away at the poverty rate, but she says the data shows more still needs to be done. We still have a long way to go, but it's it's nice to not be dead last. The full report from the Center for Community Solutions will be released on Monday. In Cleveland, Catherine Ross, News 5.